Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy. Today we're going to be checking out some of the new plans you can get from the Treasure Hunter event. One cool thing is, if you have any leftover pails that you haven't crafted, you can actually get these rewards right now. If not, don't worry about it, because we have a Treasure Hunter event coming up this weekend, give you something to look forward to. Now I will get into your drop rates a little bit later, but first let's just take a look at these. Now the balloon arch was the only thing that I got lucky enough to pull out of the handful of pails I had left over. But I was pretty darn excited to get it, mostly because I already had something picked out to use it for. Now one thing I do want to point out is the bottom of it, there, there is no bottom. So if you're thinking about putting it on top of say a glass ceiling, just keep in mind that you will be able to see through the bottom of it. After that, we're, we're going to check out the Bouquet of Star Balloons. I mean, pretty cool. I do imagine that it's going to be similar to the Heart Balloons, in the sense that it's just completely static and they don't move around or anything. Which kind of sucks, but hey, it's some balloons. Next up, we've got the Vault 76 Rug. And I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not overly excited about this one mostly because uh, I kind of would like to see less things with the vault numbers already placed on them I mean, suppose you want to build a vault maybe you don't want your vault to be 76 so now it doesn't quite fit in as well or you gotta try to cover up the 76 part but that's just me some of you may enjoy it Next up, we've got something I'm sure a ton of people are going to be aiming to get, and that's the Scorch Tube. Yeah, look at that thing. You can totally have a naked Scorch chilling at your camp. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is really high up on the priority list. Gotta get that naked Scorched. But, if you're someone that collects all the tubes, you're definitely going to want this one. I know I'm going to be aiming for it, because, well... Eh, Items in this game are like Pokemon. You gotta catch them all. After that, another one I think a bunch of people are gonna want to go for is the Neon Light Diner Clock. Well, mostly for two reasons. One, it's Nuka-Cola. And two, it has that cool little neon light going around it. Yeah, I, this will fit into a ridiculous amount of builds. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be heavily sought after. The best part about it is... It's not a light. It's a wall decoration, so the neon light on there isn't taking away from your light budget, which is huge. Another thing worth noting is uh, there's going to be a cursed rolling pin, which is seems like a crap weapon to me because it's nocturnal power attack plus one strength. I mean, maybe someone would be excited for it, but it won't be me. Now let's get into the drop rates on all of these. Starting off with regular, you know, the stuff you pick up off of the enemies. A Dusty, you're coming in at about 0.2%. Regular, you're about 0.8%. And an Ornate, you're coming in just under 1.7%. After that, the Crafted Pails. A Dusty, about 0.4%. A Regular, 1.7%. And an Ornate, 2.5%. But... If you're going to craft them, I highly recommend getting a regular pail. It is way cheaper, and you can get two of them for about the price you're going to end up spending on one ornate. So you're going to have better odds overall of getting stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.